Hello there, it's me Silverly B, and today I bring you the part 4 of our little farm game tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to load resources and how to order them. This part is kind of an extra part because as we saw on the last tutorial, the game is functional right now, so if we hit play we can buy corn, we can buy sunflower and we can buy tomato as well. But the thing is, right now we have three plants, but in your own farm game, you might want to have more plants than three. Maybe you have a variety of plants. And right now, whenever we want to add a new plant, we'd have to first go here and create a new plant object. For instance, I'm going to create a super corn out of the corn game object, so I'll duplicate it. And right here, I can name it super corn. We're going to be changing the time between stages to 3 and the buy price to 40 and the sell price to 100. We can also rename here to super corn. And okay, we've created the new plant object. Now we have to duplicate this plant item and here instead of the tomato on the plant we just drag and drop super corn. And when we hit play, we can now see that we have a super corn that we can buy. And it's okay if you want to build your game this way, where whenever you want a new plant, you just duplicate the plant item and add it here. But another thing we can do is we can start using resources and instead of loading each plant item, we're gonna tell Unity to do it for us. The way we do it is first, let's pause this, and on the scripts folder, we're gonna create a new C Sharp script. We're gonna call this one Store Manager. We can open it up. So here on our Store Manager script, what we're going to be doing is first, we're going to be loading all of our plants and then we're going to be putting them on our store using our plant item prefab that we've made. So first, we need a reference to the prefab. So I'm going to be asking for a plant item. So here's where we're going to be putting our prefab and we're not going to be using start or update. We're going to be using awake. So here on our awake function, what we're going to be doing is first, we're going to be loading our plants. So here in our load plant, sorry, load plants, it's where we're going to be loading them. And what we need here is to use resources dot load all. OK, and here we can see that it requires a path and our path will be plants, our plants folder, and we're also going to be using a type. Our type is going to be plant object, so we just need to say type of plant object. Okay, this is our scriptable object class, and this is our biopath. One thing that needs to be noted though, is that here, that we have our plants path, this is not going to be accessing our assets slash plants. No, this is not the folder that it will be accessing. It will actually be accessing the folder assets, resources, plants. And currently, we don't have this folder, so when we go back to Unity, we'll need to be creating it, okay? And now, what we need to do is we need to instantiate our plant item. In order to do so, we're going to go with a for each. And here, instead of item, we're going to be using plant. It's just the name of the variable. And here, instead of collection, we're going to be using load plants. This means where we loaded our resources. When we create our plant item, we need to store its reference to the plant item class, to the component that it has. So in order to do so, we're going to create a plant item called new plant and here we're going to first instantiate our prefab so instantiate plant item and here we can use the transform parent as this transform 
right now it's giving us an error because this is a reference to an instantiated game object. It's not a reference to a plant item. In order to fix it, the only thing we need to do is to get the component plant item out of the object, okay? So here, this way it's correct. And the last thing we need to do is here on the new plant, we need to set its plant as our plant object, okay? So here, all we need to do is new plant dot plant equals to, and right here we need to cast our plant, so plant object and plant. Okay, this is looking good, we can save it, and we can also make the adjustments on Unity in order for this to work. So going back to Unity, we can delete this, and here on our plant store, we can add the store manager. Our store manager asks for a plant item that we can select here, plant item. So the prefab is okay. And at last, to work with the resources, we need to create a new folder and call it resources. Okay, make sure it's spelled correctly. And we can drag and drop our plants to here. So right now, here we have our plants, and when we hit play, this should be working. So yeah, when we hit play, it loads here. As we can see, it's working correctly, we can buy our plants. But the thing here is, we had an order going on on our plant store that was from the cheapest plant up to the most expensive. This means that the tomato came before the super corn. And this happens because here, as you can see on the folder, it's organized according to alphabetical order. We can fix this in a few ways. As I said, it's organized in alphabetical order. So we can just rename every single one of these. For instance, give corn a number of one first and sunflower rename it with a two. Super corn, rename it with a 4, and tomato, rename it with a 3. So right now, after renaming every single one of these, we have them in a order from the cheapest to the most expensive. And we can keep using this order as we go along. And we could even, instead of just using, the, using a single number, use the price from each of these objects. For instance, we could use, instead of 1, use 10 for the corn. And we could use this for every single one of them, so it is a solution to our problem of loading these items. But the thing is, we'd have to be careful, so whenever we change a price, we'd have to remember to change the name as well. And if we want to sort by something else, for instance, the time between each stage, or if we want to sort it by the sale price, then it's not going to be working. We'll have to rename every single one of our items. And that can be costly, especially in time, because you have to go through every single one of these, or, you know, make a script that can do that for you. And I could teach you guys how to rename assets through code. If you'd like to see that, leave a comment down below. But right here, the solution I'm going to be using to order all these plants is going to be through code, and right here on the store manager, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be keeping a list of all of our loaded plant objects and I'm going to be using that to order the plants how I'd like them to be ordered, okay? So thus here, I'm going to create a new list of plant objects. I'll call them plant objects, okay, it's a nice name and I'm going to initialize it. And right here, I'll just comment this part and I'll just add this plant into this list. So in here, we can do... And we need to cast this just as we did right here. So we need to say it's a plant object. And inside here, that's it. But outside, we're going to be needing to sort this list in the order that we want it. In order to sort this 
we're going to create a sorting function. So down here, we're going to create a new function that's going to return us an int, so it's not going to be void, and it's going to be sorting by price. It's going to be receiving two plant objects, so plant object one and plant object two, and they both are going to be compared to each other. In order to do so, we're going to be using the plant object one dot by price. And here we are choosing to sort it by price. So if you wanted to sort it by something else, for instance, if you want to create an index or an order to each of your plants, here's where you choose what we are going to be sorting by. Okay, so it's going to be by price and I'm going to compare it to to the plant object two dot by price. So this is our sorting function. In order to sort our list, we just need to say plant objects dot sort, and here we can use our sorting function. For instance, I could copy this and paste it over here, call it sort by time, and instead of by price, here, I could just replace it with time between stages. Okay, great. And if we wanted to sort by time, we could use this function right here. Okay, so we have sorted our list. Now, what we need to do is to create the plant items. So it's just going to be this again. So we can use our for each. And this time it's going to be plant. And instead of load plants, this time it's going to be our list. So plant objects. We can cut this from here and paste it down here and not comment it anymore. Now the only thing we need to fix is there's no need for casting and this should be working. So again, this function we are not using it. This was just an example of how you could sort it. So we can save this and go back to unity oh i hadn't hit stop so now we can hit play and check to see if this that is a mess right now so corn is the last if this is going to be working fine so here we can see it's all sorted by the cheapest to the most expensive So that was it for today guys, thank you so much for watching and if you liked this video please leave a like, if you have any questions you'd like to ask leave a comment down below, I'll try my best to answer them and if you want to stick around please consider subscribing. That was it, thanks for watching, bye!